Hey everyone, my name is Shalim and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a challenge for you guys. I'm going to help you to think in English. That's right. By the end of this video, you will be thinking, dreaming and even arguing with yourself in English. So whatever happens inside your head, whatever you are thinking, it will be in English. All right. Thinking in English is like having a superpower. It makes speaking English way easier and natural. So instead of translating every word in your head, you will be thinking in English right away. So it's like switching to an English mode in your brain. So let's see how can we do it. So let's move on to your new session so I can make you think in English. So let's practice together. Here is how we will do it. I will ask you some questions in English and I want you to think about your answer in English only. Okay. So think your answer in English also while listening to these questions. All right. You need more time to think in English. So just pause the video and then continue from there. All right. So don't worry if it is not perfect. This exercise is all about getting comfortable practice and get comfortable with thinking in English. So let's start with the practice. The first question is what was the best part of your day yesterday? Now that you have thought about your response, Try expressing it out loud in English. So now remember to focus clarity but don't stress too much about grammar or pronunciation. Okay, at this stage the goal is to get your brain accustomed to uh, processing thoughts in English to train your brain to think in English. Okay, the second question is if you could learn any new skill, what would it be? Great job. You are already thinking in English like a pro. Okay. So now let's try a slightly tougher question. Question number three is what advice would you give to your younger self? Fantastic. By now you will be more comfortable with thinking in English. But we are not done yet. So let's wrap with one final question to really test your language skill. And the fourth question is, if you could have dinner with any historical figure, who would it be? Hey, congratulations. You have successfully completed the challenge of thinking in English. So give yourself a pat on the back you have just taken a significant step towards fluency before we wrap up i want to leave you with a few tips for continuing to practice thinking in english on your own okay so the first one is listen english songs or speeches whatever you like uh, or you can watch English TV shows or reading books. The second one is chat with English speaking friends. So join English conversational group. The third one is write in English every day even if it is in few sentences. Okay. So start writing daily. All right. And the fourth one is keep challenging yourself. Keep challenging yourself with new ideas, questions, and the topics all right take some untraveled path to learn English and there you have a language learners so I hope you enjoyed this session and also I hope you feel inspired to continue improving your English skills so guys if you are new on my channel and you uh, till now you didn't watch my video that I was uploaded yesterday so you just watch that video. The video is for those who don't want to go anywhere, who don't want to uh, spend money 
uh, or those who are housewives and want to improve their English. So the video is for them. So watch that video or share that video to your friends or to the person who need that because I have shared a wonderful idea in that video. If I talk about this video, this is a very good video for you all. If you are a beginner, so this video is for you guys. So that's it for this today's video or if you like this video, so please give thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe my channel. So thanks for watching. Bye bye. Take care.